Josh Radner is his fucking name. Feature me, put up a picture of his stupid fucking face. Look at him! Fuck him! Look at it, Chris! I'm looking! I saw it! Don't you just want to punch him in the face? With that stupid fucking smirk? He's sitting there like, Oh no, I'm never gonna find a wife! All I care about is my own love life, and everybody else with their serious problems is stupid! Fuck Where? Ted Mosby! And fuck Josh Radner. They're up here. Okay, what was with the fucking... What the hell? Did you see that blood pit over there? Yeah. It doesn't... It doesn't seem to... Reinforcements. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening Sometimes anymore. it's just a blood pit. Maybe it's not relevant. <laughs> I like how these people explode when something explodes near them. What would you have them do? Well, they have, like, their own mini-explosion. Wow, that was a clusterfuck. <laughs> uh, I'm awesome. So, I I'm not... <laughs> Chris, can I suck on your penis? Absolutely. Because that's how cool you are. Thank you. I don't understand why women don't constantly want to just be around you. Me neither, man. And in your bed and stuff. Me neither. Can you guys explain that to me? I don't get it. If I was a woman, I would fuck I figured Chris every day. It's probably because they're too intimidated. By your intense sexuality. Yeah, by how like amazing I am and okay. like attractive. Like as a man. See, that's fair, because if I was a woman, I would like I would like work out and I would like get like ridiculously like in shape just to fuck you. And that would be a lot of work. I understand how like a lot of women wouldn't want to commit to that. Because mm -hmm. it's like it's like you know oh he's so hot like I'd have to just I would have to make my life about getting with him. No, I'm high maintenance as fuck. Yeah, I can understand why uh, why ca why uh, filthy casuals would not uh, want to commit to that. Yeah, I mean it takes a lot of dedication. Yeah, yeah, it truly does. Why isn't this thing dying? Well, more man meat for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours now, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try. Uh, if I ever get Rule sixty three, do you expect a visit from me? <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, did that? Is he okay? Fuck, he's okay. <laughs> did you use the explosive one? Yeah. Oh wow, that didn't really do anything to him at all. <laughs> Not really. Okay, there goes his mask. Damn, these guys are tough as shit. We kicking your head off again, asshole. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I love doing that. You, you got him in the fucking, like, field goal, too. Can we go? We can go. It looks like you can. Yeah, return to the monorail car. Oh, uh, shit. That was a pretty sweet jump over that right. gun she yeah, just nice. did. Good job. Hold on. Wait for me, everybody. Anyway, we were talking about virtual reality last Yep. Oh, yeah. I, I almost I forgot that. with all the, uh, screaming about Ted Mosby. Josh Radner is dead to me. He's already dead. He just hasn't caught up yet. Hmm. Alright, well, yeah, virtual reality, whatever. <laughs> it's where the, it's where the, uh, it's where the, uh, industry will go, I think, someday. And I, I'm sure that's, like, blowing everyone's mind that somebody thinks that. <laughs> here's the, here's the thing about it, right? Like, wait, I want to listen to this so we know what we're doing. Okay. And creeps, yeah, we had them locked down. They're far from the worst thing down here. Oh, really? oh, you telling honest. me that now in like Act Five? What is? We called them burnouts. Fully mutated. When you see one, you'll know. Tougher than the last guy we killed. Super duper. Color me jubilant. Uh, I got a bad feeling about this, Chris. Crash resistant. Maybe bullet too. That's handy. Really? Got movement out there, huh? I feel like this is going to devolve. We're about to crash this fucking monorail, aren't we? What's oh, something? those must be the burnouts. Maybe. You gotta shoot them in the glowing pockets. Okay. But first I have to stand here and do nothing. Oh, shit! <laughs> and fade one. Yep. We didn't want to animate any of this crap, so... Oh, fuck no. That's expensive. Yeah, and time-consuming. Whoa. That's a big one. Okay.
Anyway, virtual reality. So Say what you need to say about it so we can stop talking about it. <laughs> man, I love this topic. I could talk about this all day. Didn't we already discuss this once? Uh, when we found out about that, what, virtual dome or whatever? Did we discuss that on the show? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, That's a long time ago. We've been doing this for a while. Yep. I'm proud of us. Yeah, I really thought uh, we would have quit a long, long time ago. Yeah, several months ago. <laughs> Mate, some might say we should have. <laughs> These are burnouts? Yeah. Well, they don't seem that tough. Well, that's because I'm a boss. They're dying awful swift like most of these guys do. I'm hitting them in the glowy bits. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See? That one had one on his junk. That dude took a nap. He's okay now. I mean, I guess they look all right. Kinda I'm gonna start cool kicking them in bit, shit. Maybe. All right. This is going pretty well. It's just that right now, like, every virtual reality game is some, like, super gimmicky, like, cheesy fucking, you know... Uh, okay, th there's a there's a thing with with new consoles or new platforms or whatever. They always have their like demo games where they're like, this is hypothetically what you can do with this platform. Right. And with VR stuff, there's some pretty cool ideas out there. Like there's that one game where you're like a student in like a, a classroom full of like dolphins or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not into the Oculus, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's like, what's that one where like keep talking and nobody dies, but you have to defuse the bomb. I don't know that one. They played it on Steam Train or whatever. It, you, I think you saw it. It's where, like, w um, one person puts on the visor and he's got, like, a bomb in front of him. And then there's uh, up to, you know, there's, there's another person who has, like, a binder. And they have to, like, communicate with each other to find out what's on the bomb so that that person can tell them how to defuse it. That's neat. Yeah, and that's a cool idea. I like that. Uh, it's gimmicky, but, you know, I mean, it's kind of a gimmick system right now. But yeah. The main reason why... What's the overcharge on my shotgun do? I don't know. Have you ever When did done I get that? I don't know. Oh, I don't. Okay, that's my thumb. Right. Never mind. Go well, on. Anyway. Newsbot. <laughs> From downtown. Damn it. Newsbot suck. Yeah. Yeah. They are the harbingers of the bad news. And never the good. Yeah. But I'll be excited for virtual reality whenever Ooh. it's the games that actually... Uh, you know, people actually want to see. And what I mean by that is, I'll be excited for virtual reality when they release, like, a Spider-Man game on virtual reality, or, like, a Elder Scrolls game on, like, virtual reality, and you get to fully experience, like, a full-blown, like, role-playing action-adventure type game. That would be pretty rad. And I feel like, you know, that's what they're working towards. But I also have felt like that's what they've been working towards for the past, like, 20 fucking years. <laughs> And so now I like I don't feel very confident that it's coming out anytime soon. Well, we're still like at least a year away from the ability to plug ourselves directly into the virtual reality. <laughs> what do you mean? Like maybe two years. You don't need. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like they already have like motion controls that really work. Like I was looking at some like demonstration the other day of like I don't even know what it was, what it, what it, what the context of it was, but it was some virtual reality thing where it also recognizes your hands. And you can, like, move your hands in certain ways and twist things to, like, create different shapes. So you're, you're talking about, like, most of the eye toys and stuff? Uh, I guess. Ooh, it's a trap! You think that was a meme when this game was created? Probably. Hmm. Hmm. Are you drunk? Did you drink some of them? Yep. Okay. That's why I was staggering around this room. Having, you know, problems. God, I love the flail gun. I think it's effective as fuck. Nice. Two for one. <laughs> Gang bang. Shit, wow. yeah. Uh, the overcharge on this is pretty nice. It superheats the flail uh -huh. so that it cuts through things and then uh, sticks to shit on the wall behind them. That's cool. And now I'm wasting all of them. <laughs> so that's, that's when I'll be excited for virtual reality is whenever we get to play like a real fucking game. I just want to get stuck in fucking sword art online, okay? I don't... I, see, that's not... I'm not even excited for that. It's like... I mean, yeah, obviously that's pretty hardcore, but that's... That's a ways away. Whoa. Like, being able to connect your fucking nervous system to a game is probably not going to come out in our lifetimes. Dude. Dude, I'm dead. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Okay, I guess we shouldn't have shit-talk this burnout so Yeah, much. they got a hold of me there. <laughs> I really dug in and took yeah. a chunk. Well, that's going to be a ways away. I, I'm excited for just, you know... Solid motion controls with virtual reality. 
That's I feel like that's what I have to look forward to. And uh, maybe one day that uh will be something I get to experience. So you're not in, you're not into those things that like make you put the uh put the socks on or whatever and then you slide around on that disc. What? I know what I'm talking about. What? You know, like, they strap you in around the waist or whatever. Oh, you mean like those, like, shooter games where you're, like, on, like, a moving platform or whatever. Yeah, you, like, kind of. Yeah, yeah, No, that's okay. Yeah, I'd be excited to do that. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Oh, I blew up my booze. I can blow up the booze instead of drink it. Hmm. I got points for that. Neat. You got points for blowing it up? Yeah. Wow. Say no to drugs. Fuck that. I'm way closer to getting my 20 bottles drank than yeah. 20 bottles exploded. Yeah. Didn't even know it was possible until just now. What okay. was that on the floor? Did you see that? Something blinking on the floor over there. Oh, there's ammo or something oh, lying okay. around, but I can't pick it up because yeah, yeah. I'm full. Mm. Pop. That's all I'm saying, man. I just want to play fucking Elder Scrolls game in virtual reality. That'll be fun. Because... If they did it like if they did it well, it would be it wouldn't be like every other Elder Scrolls game. Like I'm not saying I want like a direct port of like Skyrim at virtual reality. I want it to be more interactive than that, obviously. Like I want it to fit the platform. That would be fucking cool. That's something I'm looking forward to one day. Personally. It doesn't necessarily have to be Elder Scrolls. I'm just talking about like a like a really in-depth RPG. I can't wait for the shitty art or virtual reality games to come shitty out. Shitty virtual reality games? Yeah, like the fucking crappy licensed tie-ins and the shit where like cent bulletproof, like Yeah. Virtual reality <laughs> I just, I want to put on that fucking headset or whatever and just instantly be nauseous. <laughs> Bubsy for virtual reality. Pretty much. Yeah, I bet there will be some really bad fucking games. Oh, so bad. Like, no testing, like... I, I bet mean, there'll be a whole new wave of, like, epilepsies. They're pretty gimmicky and weird as it is. Yeah. Yeah, shotgun's what I need for these it's guys. Like, oh, hello. <laughs> It's like, why is she shooting right at you? <laughs> he exploded. Nice. Ladies. Onslaught survive. That? Skull, Banshee. Close Skull Banshee. What the fuck is that? Is that what the shitty helicopter? Oh, oh shit. My. That was pretty close. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that next time. <laughs> oh, God.